and twist in the art of baking the staff of life. In East Hollywood, there is a baker who turns a common loaf of bread into an unusual loaf of bread by simply using an array of California herbs and produce. His creations are proving to be a big hit at farmer's markets throughout Southern California. Here's Pat. Well, it's a given that any bakery is going to smell good. There's no way around it. But there's something different about the scents that are wafting through Jack Bijan's bakery here in East Hollywood. And the secret is in the herbs. Jack works with more than 30 different herbs in creating his various breads and rolls. Herbs that he either buys at the farmer's market or grows himself. And one of his favorites is spearmint. Since my grandmother used to make soups with um, feta or yogurt, I decided maybe spearmint would be great uh, in the bread. Creating that perfect taste is a matter of trial and error. And where does he get many of his fresh ingredients? California oranges, orange peel, uh, California olives, uh, and, um, and thyme, California thyme. The Armenian Bijan is more than a baker. He's an experimentalist. After trying all types of yeast cultures, he settled on the French Levin method, which means self-rising. You cannot use um, baking soda, baking powder, any other leaveners along with the natural culture. He lets the dough ferment for several days. That allows it to rise slowly in a cool environment. He uses no shortening or oil, but the results are worth it. Jack, what all is in this bread? It's very colorful. <laughs> this is the green olive that we do. It's got green olive, California walnuts, California watercress. The breads are works of art, each sliced with a different letter of the alphabet on top. That's so Bijan can tell them apart. A small garlic yeah. One. After feverishly baking more than a thousand loaves all morning, you'll most likely find Bijan at one of several Southern California farmers' markets, selling his labors of love to a very satisfied public. Well, everything I bought from here was so wonderful. <laughs> and maybe those titles sound a little strange, but every combination was so good. When was the last time you picked up a loaf of garlic cilantro bread or tarragon and parmesan at the supermarket? The line on Bijan's t-shirt says it all. You thought I was not adventurous? No, Jack, of course not. You can't have the best bread in town. Absolutely. Why not? For California Heartland, I'm Pat McConaughey. A newsletter headlining the Bejan Bakery is in the works. To find out more about what they're cooking up at the bakery, you can call area code 818-242-9204 or email glendale19 at earthlink.net. For those of us who are blessed to live in the Heartland and are sustained by what it provides, the issue of global hunger can often go unnoticed. But it's hard not to notice when an entire country is under the stranglehold of starvation. One Heartland dairy farmer has taken notice of the plight of a starving nation a little way and is taking steps to help in the only way he knows how. for Los Angeles. Matter of fact, we have one of the biggest ethnic populations in the country. You know, I feel some ethnic food coming up right now. <laughs> Let's go consuming with consumer reporter David Horowitz. Take it away, David. The Los Angeles area is now home to a quarter million Armenians, the largest community outside Armenia itself. Many of these people live in an area of Hollywood affectionately known as Little Armenia. It's a colorful neighborhood where there's a wonderful discovery to be made behind every door. This place is fascinating. What a sight. Lama Jun. Hagat Denayan, number one Uncle Jack's meat pies, and he's been here for 42 years. Let's see what he does. Uncle Jack is Hagat Denayan. He works here with his wife and daughter making a delicious Armenian delicacy called Lamajun, the best you'll find in Little Armenia. Lamajun is what you might call an Armenian pizza, a flat, thin round of bread covered with fresh tomatoes, beef, peppers, and basil. You buy them by the dozen. They cost 50 cents a piece. The same price they've been charging for the last 20 years. Around the corner from Denian's is the Bayesian Grocery. This is the place to come for some of the best fresh bread. And I love fresh bread. This little backroom bakery turns out some of the best bread I've ever tasted. Jack Bayesian, a Lebanese Armenian, has been baking bread here for 25 years. 
Jack originally studied engineering and now applies his scientific skills to sourdough. Look at some of these flavors. Sun-dried tomato with basil. Bread stuffed with garlic and cilantro. And Jack's own favorite, rosemary bread. The cost? About $2.50 for a one-pound loaf. But for a whole meal in Little Armenia, I'd go to see Susie Brady, a native Armenian lady whose recipes have come to life at Marouche on Santa Monica Boulevard, the best Armenian restaurant in Los Angeles. Susie is partner at Marouche with her husband, Serge, a Lebanese of Irish descent. They've invited me, along with my good friend Bob Kardashian, for a very special meal. The specialty here is called meza. Meza is 23 different types of appetizers, and you should see how they fill up a table. Twenty-three dishes in all, and every one of them is delicious. Here's a sample. Kibbe, a deep-fried mixture of beef and lamb. Tangy, chewy chunks of spicy Armenian sausage. And the classic chickpea paste known as hummus. How can it get any better? Ever since Glasnost in the Soviet Union, many Armenians have been moving to Los Angeles, right here into Little Armenia, making this community a thriving and vibrant place. Definitely one of L.A.'s best. You know, Paul, a little Armenia is one of the many ethnic enclaves around the city, and generally speaking, they're one of the best-kept secrets in town. Well, Los Angeles Magazine has helped us find some really well-kept secrets, and you're going to see lots more when we come back, including a place that has great antiques. And do you like to be pampered? I don't think I need an answer to that. We'll show you some of the best pampering in Los Angeles right after this. I love L.A. because we have to live here half the time.